All right. You know what time it is. It's time for the D bag. <laughs> oh, hi. How you doing? We got bag C finished and we ended up with this so far. Today, we're going to start working on bag D. And bag D is pretty much putting all the electronics in to our Temia Bruiser. Bag D will take us from step 27 to 41. Set up your servos, make sure they're centered. Attaching our extension cables. They give you somewhere some extension cables. Already got them on here. So they give you a battery extender and they give you some motor wire extenders. So that's kind of nice. Step 29 is going to be putting the servos into the mechanism box. 30, building our servo savers. 31's installing the servo savers onto the servos and putting the cover on the mechanism box. Well, it's actually the bottom, I guess. Attaching the RC mechanism unit so we can put our receiver and our uh, speed controller in. 33 is attaching the mechanism box to the chassis. And then we hook up our shift rod in 34. Then we set our endpoints and everything for the shifter. Step 36 is not to be used. The little clip on pieces are uh, on the shifting rod there for if you're only running a two channel uh, radio, like a trigger gun one, then uh, you can just lock it out in second or lock it out in third or whatever. 37 is the battery holder, 38 is the rear bumper, attaching the bumper. Z I guess. Step 38 is the bumpers and uh, body mount. 39 is mounting the tires. 40 is putting the tires and wheels onto the chassis. And 41 is installing a battery. So it's really not that much. Setting the endpoints up is going to take the longest it looks like. So let's get at her and let's build Tamiya. Oof. So we got bag D done. Bag D was putting all the electronics into the mechanism box. Hooking the steering up, hooking the shifter servo up, putting the, putting what? Putting the bumpers on and the wheels and tires. I didn't go with the stock tires. I put some 2.2s on here just to uh, stock rims. 2.2 Proline tires. I don't know what the heck they're called. Super Swamper, Skanky, dig Dirt Diggers. I don't know. Anyway, I got the 2.2 tires on. Got our white bumpers on. I might change them. I might paint them. I don't know. Boy, they're sure bright white. Anyway, so now we got to start on the body. And the body is a lot of painting and a lot of detail and big stickers. So I don't know how that's going to go, but let's, let's find out. Oh, okay. And there we are. A Tamiya Bruiser done by empty pockets it's more of a mountaineer or mountain rider i ordered a back cab piece off of ebay and uh, was waiting and waiting it still's not here it'd still be another week or two but uh, i ordered a back cab piece to uh, so i didn't have to run the little sleeper cab thing there and then i as i was painting the body i was rooting around in it and i looked at the the windshield bag and in there was the back cab piece so i went ahead and installed it and i i think it just looks so much better than uh, than that little white back cab it's not the bruiser bruiser but it's uh it's pretty good i like the way it looks i still need to get a roll bar for it um i'm pretty sure they make one somewhere i just have to find it and other than that it looks pretty good to me huh? And we got our Toyota symbol on there. Got it on halfway straight. The decals are are uh, interesting. They're big. They're really, really big. There's only one, two decals on the side. It's crazy. And they got to line up with this clearance light and uh, and with the Toyota Hilux dealy bobs in there. But uh, other than that, it went pretty good. Uh, we got a driver figure in there that you can hardly see. I painted the inside of the box, um, the satin black, and uh, just to set it off and give it a little bit of 
differential, make it look like a pickup truck box. So yeah, I think it turned out okay. I didn't put the light kit in yet. Um, that's going to be a, a cold winter day project. We'll get to that. But you know, it's got it's got that much on the back for articulation, so that's that's not too bad. The front, on the other hand, you don't uh, you don't get very much at all. So we'll see what it looks like going down the road. Which it's actually a halfway nice day. We should take it outside and see what it runs like. Let's go. for the rocks. Oopsie doopsie. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that was a pretty good run. Pretty good first run. Only rolled it three times. I can't remember if I actually rolled it once. Maybe once. Daughter rolled it twice, at least. Um, yeah, but surprisingly, turned out okay. No marks on the roof, so we got away with it. So that's good. Uh, the big tires. The big tires do rub just at the bottom of the fender here. Um, it is what it is. I don't know if you can get shorter uh, sidewall profile tires. 
maybe just a little tiny bit, but uh, I still like the way they look a lot better than the stock ones. Um, the rims don't have any breathing holes, so they don't uh, they don't go whoosh whoosh, you know. So they're not quite as flexible as they could be. They still do a really good job though, and uh, I might uh, I might pop some breathing holes in there. They are full of foam, but this one is just has the Tamiya bearings in it, and not uh, not the rubber sealed bearings. And between the axles and everything else, and the transmission not sealed up that great, it's not really a creek crossing water diver anyhow. So it'll be all right. Um, we could probably drill holes in there and and get uh, get a little bit more traction and grip and flexibility out of these tires. <clears throat> um, but in that, it performed exactly as a Tamiya Bruiser should and could perform. Uh, Turning radius is not great, but it is there. <laughs> uh, we do have the extra mount there. I got some mounts that we can move the servo up to here and do the do the front steering mod on it. Perhaps later. Uh, definitely doesn't articulate that good. It's not really a great climber. I'll probably pull a couple of leaf springs out of it. Other than that, yeah, it was a great first run. Enjoyed the hell out of it. Looked great out there, I think. Um, you know, everything's subjective, but, uh, I was pretty happy with it for all the time and the effort a guy put into the body and everything. It, uh, it looked the part out there. The body definitely rattles and thumps around. We're going to have to put some little, uh, washers or something underneath or above or whatever, just to clamp it a little bit more with, uh, give a little bit of cushion to ride on and everything. Cause, uh, yeah, it's. It's a little bit noisy as it's thumping and bumping about, but it's it's a trail truck at best. It's not a great crawler. It is what it is. I imagine you could make it into whatever you wanted with all the parts availability out there and everything. But uh, I plan to just enjoy it mostly how it is. A couple of simple little mods maybe, but uh, nothing too great. The steering wasn't as wobbly as I thought. I thought it'd be hard to control. It seemed all right to me. It, uh, you know, for what it is, it, uh, it, it, it drove a pretty straight line. So I was pretty happy with it. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please hit that like button, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. it really helps us little guys out. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.